He's staying down like a big one. It is a big one. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah. Look at that one. The X Rap scores again. Huh. I think Dave got it right when he said the X Rap could be the best musky lure on the planet. There's the proof right there. I'm gonna get this girl back in the water. Muskies are very unpredictable fish. They're hard to pattern. They call it the fish of 10,000 casts. But let me tell you what, if you start throwing this lure right here, the Rapala x wrap it's not gonna take you 10,000 casts. There is a ton of reasons why this lure in my mind is one of the best, if not the best, musky lure on the planet. Probably the best thing about this lure is that it is very versatile. I know it works in all different kinds of conditions. It can be cast, it can be trolled, it can be fished through weeds, it can be fished in wide open water. It's not heavy, it's not too hard to cast. They got a nice rattle to them that drive the musky crazy. The list goes on and on and on. You can straight crank it and get hits, and you could try to work it real erratic with lots of pauses and get bites as well. It's also a good lure for beginners because you really can't do anything wrong while reeling this lure in. So let's talk a little bit about the action of this lure. It's a jointed lure. The tail whips side to side when you're casting it or trolling it, and it just looks great in the water. It's very realistic looking. The buoyancy of this lure is crucial. When you're casting this lure, you can give it a couple quick jerks and reel it fast, but when you wanna pause it, it stops on the dime and it has just this little flow upwards. It just suspends there. It gives those muskies a second to just get a good look at that lure and bite it. Most of the time when I'm casting, I'm getting strikes on that pause. It's just a great casting bait. But like I said, it's very versatile. It can be trolled. The action in the water while you're trolling is really good. Depending on how much line you let out, you can get it down there to about eight or nine feet and fish those open water flats that can produce and it's harder to target a specific location. When you're trolling for muskie, it's a lot different than trolling for any other fish. You're going twice, sometimes three times as fast. A lot of guys like to go around four to five miles an hour and a lot of lures at that speed will blow out to the side or start spinning or they just won't run right or look right in the water. Typically I like to troll at around four miles an hour and this lure looks great at that speed and I've even gone up to five miles an hour and it does not blow out or go out to the side or do anything crazy like that. It's always running good no matter what speed. That being said, even when you're casting, you can crank this lure really fast. Got one. And usually when you're fishing for musky, speed is definitely important. You gotta get that reaction kind of bite and they will chase it down and grab it. A lot of musky lures, you have to fine tune them to get them to run right at high speeds. And this one, I've never had one out of the box that I needed to adjust to get it to run right. It runs right every time, right out of the box. These baits look so realistic in the water, and part of that has to do with their color. I like throwing the perch because it is just spot on. They have two different kinds of perch. The one is really natural looking and has a great color to it. it. Looks just like a real perch. This one also looks like a real perch, and I really like this one because of the orange belly. It gives them something bright to look up to. Another favorite of mine is this one right here. It's the gold and you can see I got a lot of use out of this one. There's a ton of bite marks on it. It really looks like a golden shiner and we have a lot of those in the lakes around here. So 
you can't go wrong with those two colors. They're two of my favorites. I've experimented with the hot steel on a couple different lakes. That's a very great color. I, I love using that lure too on, on some other inland lakes. The clown, the crappy, uh, there's a, a silver and black one that looks like some of the shad that we have in some of the different lakes. So just keep in mind where you're fishing and what type of bait these muskies are chasing down and pick your colors from there. That's That will be a good starting point. The hooks on these baits, they are strong as can be. They will not break on you under normal conditions and they are razor sharp. These hooks are chemically sharpened and they stay razor sharp for a long time. I've caught probably 20 muskies on this bait and I haven't even sharpened these hooks and they still feel pretty sharp. And Notice that they're not rusted. A lot of the musky baits out there, they have hooks on them that rust because they feel like people are gonna change them often because they don't stay sharp. But these ones, you don't need to change them often at all. For as many teeth marks are in this bait, these hooks are pretty darn sharp. Another awesome feature about this bait is the cost. You can get these lures for right around 15 bucks, just about anywhere. And in the musky world, that is a very good bargain because there are lures out there that cost over a hundred dollars and I'm guilty of buying them, but don't tell my wife that. But I'm afraid to even use those lures because I don't want to lose them. Why not spend $15 instead of 50 to have confidence in a lure that you're fishing? I also think the size of this lure is just right. Even though this lure is small compared to a lot of musky lures on the market, it will entice bigger fish. That's a real good one. Oh, <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> oh, the curse yes. is over, man. Yes! <laughs> yes! Yes! I caught my personal best musky on this lure. It's real big and it was a 52 incher. And I've also caught several right around 48. So I know it works for big fish as well, but you're also not missing opportunities to get some of the smaller fish or even a random pike or bass or a walleye. They will all eat this. If you're not in a spot that has a lot of muskie, you still have a possibility of catching some other species as well. Because this lure is smaller, it is a lot easier to work and it doesn't tire you out as much. And actually, I was throwing this today on my spinning rod just to show you guys that you don't need a long, heavy, musky rod to do this. You can do this with a more all-purpose kind of rod, something that you probably already have. So if you're just getting into musky fishing, you don't have to go spend the extra dime to go get a specialized musky rod right away. I still like a rod that has a solid tip to it because sometimes when you get hung up on a weed you need a stiff tip to pull it out of there and a lot of times you'll get bites right when you're doing that so it's important to have a solid tip on your rod but you can go with a lighter rod and not a specialized musky rod with this lure in particular i know dave likes to use his bait caster with fluorocarbon Sometimes I'll use a bait caster. Sometimes I like to just use my spinning rod. I know a lot of guys frown on that, but it's just lighter and I'm comfortable using it. And I just wanted to show you guys that you can use it too. And I'll just put a 30 or 40 pound braid on my reel and then I'll throw a swivel on the main line and tie about a 12 to 16 inch fluorocarbon leader that's about 50 or 55 pounds I usually use. It's not real easy to tie. You have to crank down on it with a pair of pliers sometimes, but I just use an improved clinch knot on the swivel, and I put a heavy duty VMC snap on the other end, and then this lure will never come off for you. So whether you're new to musky fishing or you've been at it a while and you just haven't given this guy a shot yet, I highly recommend that you do. It won't take you long to build confidence in this lure, just like it did for me and I'm sure that you will not regret it. So until next time, get yourself one of these and I hope that this tip helps you catch more fish.